Earthbed. Good day learners, this is Earthbend. For today's video, we will continue our learning progress about electromagnetic radiation. But before we begin the discussion, if you would like to encourage us to produce more educational content, please show your support by giving a like to the video and subscribing to our channel. You can also help our team grow with your monetary support through our donation PayPal link located in the description below. Electromagnetic radiation has been mentioned a few times in explaining other topics such as light. But did you know that until the end of 19th century, people thought that matter and energy were distinct from each other? Scientists established that matter is composed of tiny particles while energy is described as a wave and the source of light. Then, it was all changed and clarified at the beginning of the 20th century when experiments started to observe that electrons and different matter to have a certain wavelength associated in it. Just like how we use our technology devices these days, it all uses electromagnetic radiation to acquire connection, signal, and transmit energy into different forms. This electromagnetic radiation is a form of waves that travels through space with a speed of light which is t times 10 to the 8 meters per second. These electromagnetic waves are classified according to its wavelengths, frequencies, and energies. The identified classification of these electromagnetic waves builds up the concept figure of electromagnetic spectrum. This means that the electromagnetic radiation is in the forms of gamma rays, x-rays, UV, visible light, infrared, microwaves, and radio waves. From the figure shown, we can see that the differences of each type of electromagnetic radiation in terms of its wavelength, frequency, and energy. Wavelength is the distance in one cycle of wave or the distance between its wave peaks. Wavelength is written symbolically using the letter lambda. Next characteristic is the frequency, in which it is the number of peaks that passes through in one second. This time, this characteristic is symbolically written in nu. Lastly, is that each electromagnetic radiation waves also corresponds to a definite amount of energy. The energy value of a wave is calculated through the equation E equals HF, where E is for energy and in unit joules. H is the Planck's constant equal to 6.63 times 10 to the negative 34 joule second, and F is the frequency in hertz. If we understand these diagrams, we could understand that the shorter the wavelength, the higher consumed energy and produced frequency. Then if wavelength is longer, the consumed energy and produced frequency is also lower. So radio waves have the longest wavelength but it has the least frequency and energy while the gamma ray has the shortest wavelength yet has the strongest frequency and energy. I know that these waves are very hard to imagine and observe in the environment because it is a fact that only the visible lights are the electromagnetic waves that we could see through our naked eye. But despite that, these other waves are present in our everyday lives. Let us examine each one, starting with radio waves. Radio waves are what your radio has been capturing to convert these waves to sound waves or your favorite tune. Microwaves are the ones that reheats your mac and cheese or cooks your popcorn instantly. Infrareds are what helps your favorite action stars see at night through wearing the night vision goggle that picks up infrared light from our skin or anything with heat. Ultraviolet or UV is emitted by the sun during the day that even if it's cloudy and you decide to sleep under the sun, you still get tanned or sunburned. X-rays are used for security protocols to see through your luggage or even through your muscles for medical purposes. Lastly are the gamma rays which doctors used to see all throughout the inside of your body. And that is all for now. I hope you learned something from us today. Once again, this is Earth Pen. Learning has never been this easy for anyone, anywhere. Have a nice day.